Okay, so if you want to make any topic difficult, I suppose you put word problems in them. And that's exactly what we're doing now, is let's just take it a step up with the word problem. The length of the radii of circles form an infinite geometric series. The length of the first circle is 10 centimeters. The length of the radius of each of the circles is, uh, sorry, the length of the radius of each of the circles is four-fifths of the length of the previous circle. Okay, so if I had a circle, the next circle's radius, if this one's radius is 10, then to get this one's radius, I take that radius, multiply with 4 and divide with 5. So that's 40 divided by 5, that will make this one 8. Uh, the next one, multiply by 4 divided by 5. Um, so 8 times 4 divided by 5, 32 divided by 5 is 6,5. Four. Okay, so as you can see, the um, circles are getting smaller and smaller. Determine the total area of all the circles formed in this way. So again, we only need three. So we want to sum up all of the areas. So we're going to sum up area one plus area two plus area three all the way up to infinity. Let's just remind ourselves what is the equation of the area of a circle. So for any area, it would be pi times radius squared. Okay, so the first one will be pi times 10 squared. The next one will be pi times 8 squared. The next one will be pi times 6,4 squared. And this will go on all the way up to infinity. So if we wanted, and again that must be an infinite sign, if we want s of infinity, we need to find the first term divided by 1 minus r um, if r is l indeed less than 1 and greater than negative 1. So let's go calculate r. So these are the terms. This is term 1, that is term 2, that is term 3. Let's take two consecutive terms. So to calculate, uh, or, or, well let's do our stock taking. Uh, we want s of infinity. We have the first term. That's pi times 10 squared which is 100 pi. Okay, and now how about our radius? Let's go calculate our radius. Term 2 divided by term 1 will be pi 8 squared divided by pi 10 squared. And this will give me that cancels and I have 64 over 100. 4 can divide into both 25, uh, what's 4 in 60 is 16, so 16 over 25, okay, you see the numerator is smaller than the denominator, that means it is less than 1, it's also not negative, so it's definitely greater than negative 1, okay, which means this thing will definitely converge, and I'm allowed to use that formula. So let's substitute into our formula. The sum of inf the infinite sum is therefore 100 pi divided by 1 minus 16 over 25. I'm not even going to use a calculator. I'm going to give my answer in terms of pi. You could use your calculator. Um, did not tell us to um, how to give the answer. So I'm going to just do it algebraically. So this can be 25 over 25, which gives me 9 over 25. When I divide with a fraction, I tip in times. So it's 25 over 9 times 100 pi. And there I get my answer 2500 pi 
over 9. If you want to, you can go and use your calculator. I think that is a perfectly beautiful answer. And there we go. Even the word problems aren't difficult. The only thing I need to do is get out of the foreign context. I don't know how much you know about circles, but you do know a lot about numbers and uh, sequences and series at this point. So just get out of this foreign context and get to a number pattern. As soon as you get to a number pattern, your way is clear because all you now need to do is get the correct formula, do your stock taking, get the va variables that you don't have, substitute and solve.